welcome back to my channel and I hope you've been having a great day so far. So for today's video, quick disclaimer, this uh, was a better idea in my head than me trying to film it. I have to try and do this video under 15 minutes, but basically, as you can tell from the title of the video, we're going to be doing rotisserie chicken from the deli or your local grocery store in three ways. So whenever I feel a little bit lazy to cook or I don't want to handle bong meat, I usually just pick up a roasted chicken from my local grocery store, Costco, Walmart, wherever basically has a deli. And I try and use the chicken as much as I can and use it in different ways. And today I'm going to show you my three favorite ways on how to use a rotisserie chicken. Um, the first one is just going to be a standard chicken dinner meal. The second recipe is going to be buffalo sliders. And the third recipe is going to be a really quick and easy chicken pho. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you do. I release a new video every Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. PST. If you haven't followed any of my social media links, they are all down below. The full instructions for the buffalo sliders and the chicken pho are on my blog, so make sure to follow that. If this video is a little chaotic for you, there'll be more in-depth instructions there. And other than that, I guess let's get started. So as you can see, I laid out each meal that I'm doing. I'm going to be using the stove top or like my little induction stove for um, the pho. I've got just a cutting board here and a knife that I will chop the chicken up and I'll just be getting bowls and spoons and measuring cups and all of that as I go. Okay, so people generally get rotisserie chickens when they go grocery shopping and they haven't thought of like a dinner or like a lunch to have yet and they'll just pick this up. I know it's a marketing tactic for most of the grocery stores and it works. Most of the chickens are within five to $10 and it's so much cheaper than buying a raw full chicken. I know that in my grocery stores, whenever I want to roast my own chicken, it costs probably 10 to about $15 per chicken. So this is just a cheaper and easy alternative to having a full roast chicken. Today, I just picked up my roast chicken from Superstore. This is the President's Choice brand and it's the Portuguese style chicken. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna take out your chicken. And if you're not familiar with chicken, there's the chicken breast, um, legs, thighs, wings, the drumettes, and then the backbone. So for this chicken dinner, we're just gonna use the chicken thighs and legs. Just another disclaimer, I am not that great at cutting meat, so if it looks kind of skewed, sorry. But I'm gonna be taking this out. I actually got this last night in preparation for the video so it is kind of cold it was in the fridge but you want to take out the twine or the string and then with chicken there's usually cartilage or soft bone so you can just follow along with that but yeah you basically just want to find the bone and slice through it so here is just a quarter of a quarter of a chicken so this is the leg and the sorry the leg and the thigh what I've just prepared here is some brown rice I just cooked and some steamed broccoli and call it a meal. So this would be like a quick dinner or um, even a quick lunch if you're looking for something heavier. But that is the number one recipe. Aside from rice, you can just have some salad, um, dinner rolls, uh, pasta, whatever you really have available and have your chicken on the side. So... <laughs> There is recipe one, which is not really a recipe, which is why I didn't do a blog post on it. But now we're going to be doing the buffalo chicken splatters. While you are cutting up your chicken, just make sure to keep all the bones because that's how we're making our bone broth for the pho. We're going to be using three fourths of the chicken breast and we're leaving a little bit of chicken breast for our pho. Um, just to place on top, so make sure that you keep a portion of it. So when you have fluff for dinner later on, you can put your chicken on top. But essentially, we're going to take the chicken breast and we are going to be chopping it up and um, combining all our ingredients here, which I will explain in a second. <laughs> okay, so with chicken breast, there's bone that you can follow, basically. So you just want to follow the bone and then you're able to kind of slide it off. 
as best as you can. Um, we don't need the skin for this, but again, it's really up to you if you want to put the skin in. Um, but there are two sides to the breast. Once you have got your chicken breast on your chopping board, now you can slice them up into little cube sized pieces or you can shred them up. Really up to you on how you want your pieces to be cut. Okay, so once you cleaned up a little bit because it was just getting a little messy here um, and you have your chopped little chicken. So I've just cut, chopped them up into little cubes here. I prefer this than shredded chicken. You want to start making your filling for your sliders. So in a large bowl, add in all your chicken. Add in about a half of a cup of celery or two stalks. I use two stalks. Half of a small sweet onion half of a cup of ranch, and then one fourth of a cup of buffalo sauce. With these ingredients, you can definitely, I obviously, if you want it spicier, you can put more buffalo sauce. If you want it more ranchier, you can put more ranch. Whatever you like. As everything is in there, you just want to give it a really good mix all together. So once you have everything well combined in here, you want to add in a little bit of salt and a little bit of ground pepper. Okay, give it one more mix and then I'm going to set aside and prep our buns. All right, so for your buns, you can use any dinner rolls. I'm just using the soft white dinner rolls I got from Walmart for like two bucks or maybe a dollar. If you want, an alternative would be Hawaiian rolls. I haven't seen a lot of Hawaiian rolls in like Canadian grocery stores. I know there's some in Safeway, but I had I didn't go there. I went to Walmart for these groceries today. So you can really use anything. You can use whole wheat buns, you can use multi-grain buns, whatever you have. But for this, I'm gonna use dinner rolls. You just want to open it up, slide the buns on your baking tray, and what you want to do is you want to cut about halfway into the bread all the way through. Once you've cut your bun, you want to take your mix and you want to spread it evenly just like this, and then that's when you can put the cheese on top. For today, I'm just using provolone, you can use cheddar, you can use Swiss, you can really use anything you want, but I love provolone. And then just put the slices on top. Now, once your cheese is on top, you can close it up. And now the last step on these, you wanna take a minced garlic clove here, and then put in about maybe a tablespoon of butter, and then heat it up in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Once your garlic and butter is a little bit melty, you wanna just brush the top of your buns. Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna be putting this in the oven for about five to 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted and the top is a little bit browned. All right, so the buffalo sliders are done and oh my gosh, they look so good. It is nice and golden brown. The cheese inside is all melty, if you could see from the side, and it is Perfect, but now we will move on to the last recipe, which is the full recipe and also my favorite Oh, everything my favorite, but also my favorite I'll be showing you guys how I do this from bird's eye view so you can see exactly what's in the pot Okay, last but not least in this very chaotic segment <laughs> Is the chicken pho. So with the chicken pho, it's so easy to make and you can freeze it if you want to do a large batch I'm just going to be using, I don't know how many quarts of this, but I'm just going to be using a regular soup pot. And on my plate here, I have half of a yellow onion. I have about six cloves of garlic. I have about um, maybe six of these thinly sliced garlic strips. I have five sour anise. I have two cinnamon sticks. I have about a teaspoon of coriander seeds. I have a teaspoon of pepper. I have half of a teaspoon of cloves. I have two, oh, I have two bay leaves. 
and I have four cardamom pods. I have half of a lemon and I have one beef bouillon cube. It's just gonna make the soup a lot more richer just cause chicken has a lighter broth taste. I just like having a beef bouillon cube. You can definitely add a chicken one if you want, but I'm just gonna use beef for today. And then in the pot, you're gonna wanna have three fourths of the way of water. Okay, now that your pot is going and you've got about three fourths of the way of water, you wanna add in your ingredients. So I will just add them as it is. Obviously I'll take out the wrapper for the beef bouillon cube, but the good thing about this is that you actually strain the broth later. So it doesn't matter if there's garlic um, skin or like whatever. You can just add in all of your ingredients and then let it simmer for about, I'd say, an hour or so. Chicken bones are pretty soft. So they do um, end up getting all breaky and stuff pretty early. And that is just a pain to deal with because it's hard to strain and there's just so many little pieces. So I would say about half an hour to an hour on high heat boiling water. And then as well, after you put in all of your ingredients here, you wanna add in some salt, some pepper and sugar. For fish sauce, I usually put about maybe a tablespoon and then you can start letting that boil. And then you will put in your chicken bones um, just as it starts to heat up. I feel like with this, it just makes the chicken hold its shape a lot better than if you were to put it from the start and it's just soaking in the water. Once your water is starting to boil, then you can add the chicken bones. It's again, whatever you have that's left. And then let it simmer for again, about half an hour to an hour. Oh my goodness, you guys, two and a half hours later, I've repurposed my whole chicken. I honestly still have leftovers in the fridge of whatever I couldn't use. But again, we did a rotisserie chicken dinner, just fresh out of the grocery store. As soon as you get home with some brown rice and some veggies, we did some buffalo chicken sliders with some dinner rolls, buffalo sauce, ranch, onion, celery, and provolone cheese. And last but not least, I didn't assemble the pho on camera just because I thought the video was going to be too long. So I'm going to put a picture up here. But basically, it's just the pho rice noodles. I garnished it with some cilantro, lime. I added some of the chicken breast that we saved, some, um, some raw onion, jalapenos. And on the side, you can have it with hoisin sauce or a sriracha sauce. It looks so beautiful, so yummy, and it's such an easy dish. I left it on the cooktop for about 45 minutes or so, and then I just transferred it on the stove behind me so I don't bump into it or anything on the island. But yeah, it was super, super easy. Highly recommend it. I don't know why I did not think this through. I thought this was going to be an easy video to film, and then I totally forgot that it already takes a lot of effort to do one recipe and I basically did three different things for this video, but I did have a lot of fun. I'm excited to eat. I haven't had lunch yet. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope that this made a little bit of sense. I know it was just kind of like boom, 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 boom. Too many things happening. I might've missed a few details, but again, full recipe is on the blog. So make sure to check out the buffalo chicken sliders and the easy chicken pho. The way I do my videos is very casual. Like I love just being in front of the camera, cooking with you guys, and then having the blog post full of details. So be sure that whenever you watch my YouTube videos, if you need more clarification, go ahead and click my website. I always leave it in the description below. Aside from that, again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you do. I release a video every Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. PST. Aside from that, my social media links are all down below. So make sure to follow me if you haven't yet. And other than that, 
I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you next week. Bye.